guys, this is Matthew Braddock from a Critical Bench YouTube channel. Just got to ask a question on my experiences with the carb backloading diet. Um, there's an ebook out there. Um, it's basically by a gentleman named called D.H. Kiefer. He, it's an ebook. You can look it up if you want. It's called Carb Backloading and Carb Night. Um, my personal experience with it, well, first of all, I'll give you a little explanation on what, what it is. So during the day, you basically eat a low carb diet. So from the hours you wake up to, to right before you train, you eat like a, basically like an Atkins diet in a nutshell. You have you know your vegetables, you're eating a lot of fats, and you uh, meat, of course. So then you train between the, 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 the magic hours between a five and seven, and then after that workout, you immediately eat a, a set number of carbs. And then the book explains to you that you want to eat the carbs from as clean source as possible. Uh, you want to consume minimal, minimal amounts of fat with that because, you know, fat and carbs together pretty much are not good for your physique. So, my personal experience with it is I did it all wrong. Uh, you know, I trained between the hours of 5 to 7, like it said in the book, but I was eating uh, five, four to 500 grams of carbs and just pure crap. I was eating donuts, I was eating pizza, I was drinking so I was just using it as an excuse to, to eat horribly. Um, with that being said, I, I probably put on the most muscle I ever did in, my, in that time frame I ever have. But, I was not healthy, uh, my, my blood pressure was horrible, my heart rate was elevated all the time, um, my sleep was horrible because I was eating, you know, trying, imagine trying to eat 500 grams of carbs of just rice or sweet potatoes. You'd be there all freaking night trying to eat that much. So, it took me like an hour or two to eat all those carbs and my heart rate would be so jacked I couldn't even fall asleep till like 2 or 3 in the morning. And, uh, Natalie, how was your experience <laughs> with carb back then? Um, it was definitely interesting. I'd say it's hard throughout the day to not eat carbs because you have to tell everyone, you know, I can't have fruit, I can't have this, I can't have that. So it's definitely a challenge at first, but once you get used to it, I mean, I would just eat basically eggs and meat and vegetables throughout the day. And then after training, it, I guess it was fun eating whatever you wanted because I would do the same as Matthew. Um, you know, we'd eat pizza, we'd eat Five Guys, we'd get Krispy Kreme, but Definitely wasn't the smartest choice because I did feel sluggish, felt tired, it was hard to wake up in the morning, especially after all those carbs and sugar. I mean, I work a full-time job, so I'd have to wake up, you know, pretty early, and it was it was definitely a challenge. But with that being said, it also did aid in my um, strength training with powerlifting, because I was um, training for my first powerlifting meet at the time. So. It was definitely an interesting experience. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing it the way we did, but it was definitely a way of gaining knowledge and um, basically trying out another outlet for nutrition.